Hey, it's Opinionated Glenn. It's about uh, 11.30 something, 11.32 or 3. This is like a midnight session. A midnight opinion. Well, I heard it on the news, so I had to get up and say this. Today, some little fragile lady down in the hood, 72 years old, took the bus, went shopping. They have a special bus that picks it from picks them up from their maximum security apartment. This is down at East Jefferson. It's the heart of the war zone. There's a real nice restaurant down the street called the Rattlesnake Club. Some famous actor, um, he opened this place. It's, it's a nice place. But I, I don't even know if it's still there anymore. Because uh, the area it's in, in the hood, in the ghetto. Well, anyways, this little old lady gets picked up by the bus. The driver comes, helps her to the bus and everything. Then they go shopping. She came back. He walks her to the door. Let's her in and everything. Like I said, it's maximum security. Because this is where the animals live. In the ghetto. Well, the woman starts going up the stairs. All of a sudden, she hears knocking at the door again. Oh, she thinks the bus driver forgot something. She opened the door. This piece of shit, low life, mofo, beat the hell out of her. Kicked in her eye sockets. Just, I mean, kicked her and beat her to hell. Left her for dead. He stole her credit cards or whatever she had, all forms of ID, and $144. Or $140. Now this is what you got in Detroit. This is why Detroit is nothing but barren ruins. Burnout buildings, empty lots, tires, and gangbang pieces of shit with their f f pants around their assholes. This is what's left. This is what it's come to. These animals have to pick on little old ladies. Because they know she's not armed. Somebody stick a gun up this piece of shit's ass. But, hey, they interviewed some other blood on the street and they be calling this guy an animal now these are <laughs> these are people that live in the hood themselves these are people that would do the same thing in a minute these are people that rob 7-elevens these are people that carjack cars and they're calling this guy an animal but you got to remember they got rights that's what put them whole, that's what has destroyed the community. Is when Johnson wrote the bill for civil rights. They don't know what civil rights are. Evidently, the lawmakers don't either. Because they need the death penalty in Michigan. I mean, for anything. Stealing a car. They used to hang you for stealing a horse. A horse costs 35 bucks. Now they got... Cars, 40, 50, 60,000, and these mofos done be stealing them. Oh man, something's got to be done. Now they're picking on little old frail ladies. They say this poor woman, black, didn't weigh 100 pounds. So this guy, $140, he's probably already got it spent. They showed his stupid ass on camera, but, of course, they didn't show the beating. They just talked about it. He was walking away as she was laying on the floor bleeding. I don't know if she's living now or not. She was alive before, but he really messed her up. It's uh, it's really something. <laughs> but, you know, you do-gooders, you, 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 you know how it is. Suck his ass, give him all his, everything he needs, Keeps them on welfare his whole entire life. Sends them to the joint if you don't play basketball. He'd be cool. Okay, y'all, you mofos. This be Opinionator Glenn saying 2150, good buddy. 10-4 and good day.